Welcome to our session on redesigning procedure drills to navigate successful downtime engagement. I'm Valerie Adams, Director of Nursing from Penn Medicine, Lancaster General Health. And I'm Jennifer Scheinberg, Clinical Informatics Specialist for the inpatient setting. We have no conflicts. So who are we? Like I mentioned, we are from Penn Medicine, Lancaster General Health which is a nonprofit health system located in South Central Pennsylvania. Little over 9,000 employees and consists of 850 licensed beds over four hospitals. A Lancaster General Hospital, which is acute care, women's and babies, rehab hospital, and a behavioral health hospital. Our learning outcome for our session is to identify ways to standardize downtime education and processes for nursing staff. Our objectives today really will focus on how important it is to establish a partnership between IT and operations for ownership of the downtime process, identify the scope of the downtime procedures, and ensure that all operational downtime and recovery procedures and forms stay current. Another aspect was really focusing on downtime drills across the enterprise to identify gaps and engaging in new methods to engage our frontline staff in the importance of downtime and how to standardize a planned and unplanned escalation procedure. So a little bit of background of how we got here. A couple years back we had a significant downtime of greater than 18 hours. During that, even though at the time people felt that staff were still very familiar with our paper process, a lot of staff were unable to navigate the paper forms and even getting through the paper documentation was one thing. The recovery process was even more chaotic and we discovered there were a lot of, a lot of lack of standardization um, in between departments, a lot of fragmented procedures as well as inconsistent or outdated forms. So documentation from unit to unit or even various departments that would have shared documentation had different forms to capture that information. Also, there had been a lack of pre preparedness because we had no formal plan for how to maintain a competency around downtime because our initially when we went to our EMR, our downtimes were longer and staff routinely had went through them that there was a better comfort level, but over time as our downtime, our scheduled downtimes shortened, we noticed that we had no way of really educating people for to be prepared for a downtime. 